everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so today's video we have a new Cordiverse to showcase before that if you want an updated exo zeros videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so we have here a Cordiverse for kylox so or requiem shaman so kylox in a parallel world is of a kind heart okay obviously okay so the period for this one is going to be on September 13th after the maintenance. Um, it's going to be up until September 20th on Monday as well. So main hero is going to be Kylock. Just to, you know, just to give my thoughts on the first, um, um, the current uh, version of FC Kylock. I didn't think he was really that impressive in terms of the initial release of his kit. But let's see on his current um, core reverse and what uh, skills are going to be added so initially <clears throat> for his passive he has mana absorb three so removes enemy buffs and gain one mana so gains one mana additionally if, if health of target is at 80 percent or more removes one mana from target and then gain and then gains one mana to self if health of target is at 30 percent or less absorb soul under this effect of soul bond heals 100 percent of all damage dealt to all enemies with damage over time effects so this one this this effect of him is actually going to be crucial um it's going to give him heal of all damage dealt because he's dealing uh, damage over time most of his skills actually are damage over time and ascension or here here is his passive <clears throat> ascension it's going to be a mark so increases own defense by 20 percent for seven turns upon receiving health generation effects and can be stacked up to five times so this actually ascension actually plays well with absorb soul his new passive is saints attitude so buff if there is a living ally with higher defense than self at the start of the round uh increases own attack by 50 percent of own current defense for one round <clears throat> Usually this will be good for Kylock because he has um, lower defense. It's expected of him. He's kind of uh, kind of a bit squishy. Um, next would be his passive would be White Knight Reversion. So it's a special resets own turn if a health regeneration effect is applied on self four times, one time per round. So with this one, the new passive that he's going to get, um, White Knight Reversion. The, the reset of own turn in terms of health regeneration, uh, regeneration we're going to have to play <clears throat> also with absorb soul because he heals himself um every time there is a damage over time damage dealt to all enemies so this is actually a possibility because again if he has an aoe damage over time most probably you'll be dealing with with um five enemies so that's healing five times um that is my take on this i'm not sure guys i'm just speculating i haven't used this kit that much so let's try to test this one i'll try to test this one once i have him next week. actually i have him next week so i'm just waiting for the buff for his carvers so for his s1 it also has um a buff so white knight reaper so required mana is one deals 300 damage to one enemy Throws a target upon hitting an attack, dealing 50% damage on every turn for two turns if Soul Bond is marked and is applied on self. So Soul Bond is actually just to, you know, to give you guys an idea, is a skill of Dorka. So if you have Dorka, um, this would be or this would take effect. Next is this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Active is S2, which is uh, Evil Soul Harvester, so deals 89% damage to all enemies. Corrodes target and deals 39% damage every turn for three turns. So this is going to be play a big part. <coughs> Why is my throat so itchy? Anyway, um, Corrodes target dealing 39% damage for every turn for three turns. So this actually will be your key in... This one, your White Knight Reversion, because this should be a four times self heal. So you need more or less four enemies to trigger uh, Absorb Soul. Okay, because again, for each time 
a damage over time triggers heals 100% of all damage dealt. Okay, so that is the effect. So if, for example, um, for example, you have you, you have four enemies that have damage over time, each of them would trigger. So that is actually a trigger for Absorber Soul. So if you have four, then your turn resets. So kind of kind of interesting kit. Um, to be honest, guys, recently Exos has been putting out a lot of very good core reverses. Not just the not just the type that you don't want to use, but definitely for this one, I would want to use this already. Um, I'm now convinced which nation should I concentrate next. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually torn between concentrating with be uh, either North Von Frosty or Brun, but I'm going with, with Brun. Um, I'm done with um, Wasted Red, Signature Force, Estoris, and Vagabond. I'm definitely going to be concentrating on Brun if this is going to be the case. Because again, um, I need Brun to be good. I'm actually also waiting for FC Dorka. So again, a lot of us are, are just waiting for FC. But again, I hope it drops soon. But again, let's go back to the issue at hand. This kit is going is curiously interesting. That is actually my take on it. I'm not saying that this is going to be good. I still have to play test this and see um, how he heals <clears throat> and when when does his skill reset triggers or his turn reset triggers. So again, very interesting. I'm saying it's very interesting because it has a mechanic. Whenever a skill has this certain mechanic, it becomes more interesting. For those of you guys who are hearing the rain right now, I'm sorry. It's actually cra uh, raining crazy here in the Philippines. So I'm sorry um, if it's going to reflect in my mic or in my in my sound. So again, bear, please bear with me. Um, so if you're going to get, if you don't have um, high luck yet. So he's a black fate core at a 0.7 chance of recruitment. So one recruit mileage for every 11 uh, recruit, recruiting heroes 11 times at 19 core mileages. So at 19 pulls, you can pit him as well. Um, and um, again, you know my stand on exclusive weapons. Um, just don't pull for them. You might get them eventually. So for his weapon, I suggest you don't pull because the core mileages are going to be the same and um, it's going to be a waste of zest. So save your zest for um, fate core pulls or hero pulls. Okay, so again, my last take on him is going to be that this kit is going to pique my interest. I hope it piques your interest as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys have expressed your, you know, your sentiments about him in terms of not having enough damage, not being uh, survivable enough, or I don't know. But again, he's going to be interesting, and I'm going to try to maximize his kit. Um, hopefully, I could get a lot of uh, what they call this, a lot of what they call this, a lot of uh, oomph from him. Um, and also a lot of survivability. So that is actually my concern when I'm bringing him. So um, I would highly uh, encourage those who have him already um, try to use him and try to test him. For those who haven't had him yet, well, it's it's really up to you if you really want to build Brun. At this point, um, if you want really to build Brun, you can pull for him. But if not, if you don't want to con concentrate with Brun, then... I suggest you don't pull for him on Monday. Okay, guys. So that is it. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for sticking this far in this video. Please consider subscribing. And also, pl please click that bell icon so you don't miss any Exos Heroes videos. Um, also, guys, don't forget to put a like on this video. Thank you. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden. And I'm out of here.